Hello everyone, happy 2022, start of a new year. My first video in several weeks, work is starting to calm down. I am getting some sanity back. So back to regularly scheduled content and starting off the year with a room tour because that's pretty decently changed, to be honest. I, I We did quite a bit in this room. We uh, We took some stuff out and we ended up giving ourselves more room for expansion, for collectibles, for movies, for just everything. So we're gonna walk around this room and show you what's different. If you haven't seen my 2021 version, I have that on the channel, you can check it out, you can see some of the differences. It's it's pretty decently changed though. Okay, so we're gonna start this off on this wall, a wall that you're familiar with if you've been following me on Instagram or this channel or anything like that. You've seen this wall, this is pretty similar, but I'm gonna do a quick pan around before we go more in depth. And you'll see some changes if you're familiar, like completely different, completely different, completely different. <laughs> so a lot of all of this area has changed, but I'm gonna start it over here where it's more familiar, I guess. And I'll back it up some. These are two Atlantic shelves right next to each other. These things are only a hundred bucks each on like Best Buy, I think Amazon. Uh, great shelves though. You fit a ton of movies on them for their price. They have to be uh, wall mounted, like screwed into the wall, but they are extremely, extremely worth it. You fit a ton into them. So this whole wall this is all standard studio stuff without steel books included. Uh, so all the Sony's, the Paramount's, the Universal's, all that stuff. That's just the standard stuff all here. No boutiques, no steel books, and it is 4Ks and Blu-ray intermixed otherwise. So this wall will go down to what? P's. Okay, so it goes down to P, and then off to my side, I'll show you the rest there, but uh up top this all used to be uh box sets and i liked that a lot but I'm looking for a little bit of a change so now i'm going to kind of alternate out i have a ton of uh vinyl soundtracks like i i don't even know how many but maybe 150 200 i i have no idea but figured i'd just show off some of them i'll keep alternating this but we got the Fog, signed by Tom Atkins and Adriana Barbeau. Uh, the Fountain, this is the repress from Mondo, but it, it's such a fantastic score by Clint Mansell. Uh, Ghostbusters 2 and Parasite. Got an awesome lighthouse print and a bottle of unopened uh, Johnny Walker Black Label from back when Blade Runner 2049 came out. This actually goes for pretty good money now. I, uh, I'm not really much of a drinker. I bought it because I loved Blade Runner. So I, it's pretty cool to have. And then, like I said, this is all standard studio stuff. I, I mean, this video isn't really about the titles I have per se, so I don't really want to go like super in depth or anything like that on which movies I have. If anyone wants to know i can I, I i don't know it's just i i don't think i have the patience to you know pull out everything that's a good movie but uh yeah i don't think i got patience to pull out everything but just give you a i don't know rough idea got some movie soundtracks on cd there then keeps going going down oh Overall, very happy with that wall. And I guess I will go to the right here since this, sorry for the, the light. I, this room gets very dark. I need, I need all the extra light I could get basically. But uh, this is a brand new addition. It's a spinning rack. It's kind of hard to do with, with one hand to be honest. But yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward. All of the, the same basic stuff, standard studio releases, 
not boutique stuff, not steel books. That's what this is. This continues on. And gives us a little bit of expansion room on this stuff now. If uh, if you remember before, the wall over here used to have a, a... It was basically a Calyx cube and these type of shelves over there. And we fit less overall than with this stuff. So huge, huge addition to the room. Really, really love it. This has been just great. These things are 250 but totally worth it. Uh, up top, got a... That's actually Jim Davis's uh, signature. And it's a Garfield statue. And I love it. It's bought this thing actually pretty cheap. But I like it quite a bit. Behind it is an 18 by 24 Moon screen print. Love, love, love Moon. Fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, cannot recommend it enough. Up top, we've got, uh, that's by Sarah Deck, Hocus Pocus. I don't remember the artist for that. It's a, a ring. And, of course, James Bond. Got a nice little Freddy glove here. And, yeah, I guess we'll continue on this direction. Over here, I, I love this statue so much. This is... A statue called The Hound by a company called Level 52. And it was only, what the heck was it? 250 or something like that. Like, it really was not that much. All things considered. Like, statues get crazy expensive. And it is insanely heavy. Like, I don't even know if I can... I can't really get across weight on a video. But it is very heavy. It is incredibly, incredibly detailed. So I figured it would be a really cool addition to the room. And then there's this little, uh, not safe for work, but little uh, witch statue by the same exact company. This thing was also, this was like 200. Like this thing really wasn't that much different in price than that, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. But uh, love those. Then down below, got a pinhead, a golem. And some movie-related books. I collect a lot of movie-related books. So this is a little bit of them, and you'll see the more, more of them after. And then there is a, uh, a little Sam protecting. He's a, He had a bowl for candy, but I kind of like it more without the bowl. But yeah, just a little, little Sam. Get up from the chair. Then we have my M1 Mac... Love this computer. It's awesome for editing. Really, really fantastic computer. Great addition to the room. Makes, I, I just, I don't know. There's something about editing like around the things I love, I guess. <laughs> love it though. Uh, Ghostbusters, or not Ghostbusters, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Jurassic Park uh, Lego Gate. Love this. It used to be on a bookshelf over there and now sits proudly here. Time Magazine with the wrong cover. <laughs> it's uh, not even the correct movie, but still, that's it's a really cool magazine. Just picked that up today. Uh, Wizard of Oz vinyl soundtrack from Mondo. This thing is crazy. <laughs> there's, there's a lot to this thing. But uh, didn't get around to listening to that yet. It's just stuff that happens to be on the desk. And what's under? I think it's my wife's computer. Yeah, my wife's Windows computer. Some odds and ends stuff down there are nothing really to show. Now we'll go up. This is a 27 by 40, uh, obviously backlit frame. This is from a company called Baroque Profiles. Baroque, I, I, I probably pronoun I'm pronouncing it wrong, but. <laughs> But yeah, they make this light up frame and just a little, little switch down there. And yeah, it, I love it. It's like $200. It's so worth it. If you like 
original uh, one sheet posters and you like to display that stuff, this thing does amazing. And then of course I have it signed by the entire cast, the base cast of the Evil Dead. There's Bruce, but yeah, I, I love it. If I can get Sam Raimi and Rob Tappert on here, that would be, oh my God, <laughs> that would be fantastic. Sam Raimi was actually supposed to do Monster Mania before everything, before shit hit the fan. And then he got the uh, Doctor Strange 2 job. So I don't know if he'll end up coming back. But if he does, this poster is coming with me and he's signing it somewhere. Because, yeah, I love this thing. And then keeping with, like, artwork-wise, a Kubo poster. This thing... Uh, I bought this off eBay. This and that statue up there, if I know correctly, were not uh, sold, like generally sold. I think they were like promotional pieces more. Uh, I think you were only, only able to get them straight from Leica themselves. But yeah, it is uh, signed over there by Travis Knight. This is... It's fully, fully encased already. It's, it's, it's very nice. I, I don't think I spent all that much on them, both of them, but you don't see them anymore. Like they just do not pop up. I bought those like right after the movie came out, but we got Tom Atkins again. I told him to write thrill me, which he absolutely did. Love that. Got a nice little five by seven drive print. I bought this off a woman off Etsy. Gorgeous art. Love it. And then an 8x10 Grogu. That's by artist Rory Kurtz. He does awesome stuff. So I, I wanted to fill up the walls with tons of great stuff I like to look at. And then as we come over, we hit another spinner here. This spinner is 100% steel books. It's not full yet, but all we have in it is steel books probably I most of them are in these uh really nice Malco protectors good good chunk of them are in and whatever isn't we we got to get finished up at some point but I think if this is something around like maybe 350 steel books maybe and then it ends there and then we have all that expansion room. That is tremendous having that much expansion room. Like I am absolutely thrilled with that because I mean, as, as you know, as a collector, room is very important and having room is, oh my God, amazing. <laughs> uh, up top, we've got, I just did a video on this a couple of weeks ago, but a Beast Kingdom Scrooge McDuck. Love that. Behind it, we have a Mark Engler 12 by 36 uh, Spider-Gwen. This is based off the version of her in... Uh, oh, now my computer is talking. Dang it. That happens all the time. But uh, yeah, this is based off her in Into the Spider-Verse. Really love that, especially about the pink frame to go with it. And I think it looks awesome. Going down, we have a Captain America screen print. Nakatomi Plaza Blu-ray set, Harley Quinn, Deadpool Pop, and Futurama Ship. And I gotta tell the computer to stop because it's recording literally everything. Oh my gosh, I should have just shut this thing off. But <laughs> yeah, uh, up top, got some box sets and different steel books and whatnot. Uh... I'm going to pause this and come right back because I got to shut this computer off. Okay, back again. As much as I love my Mac, uh, this thing, I got to figure out how to turn off Siri on this. It should be really simple. I just haven't done it yet because Siri will randomly catch when I'm saying stuff and it's quite freaking annoying. But back to what I was uh, what I was saying. Yeah, we got different steel books and different just types of sets up here. Then falls into a... Venom statue from the company Gentle Giant. This thing is awesome. It's got two broken uh, claws, unfortunately. Uh, 
just they broke over time the, the kitten got one and then we we kind of broke the other ourselves but still love it it's awesome come down i'm going to open this up to get away from some of the glare and we have a sideshow spider gwen followed by a mondo spider gwen followed by a diamond select spider gwen and then just a Deadpool 1 6th from Sideshow thrown in because honestly, if you're going to have any random character on a shelf, Deadpool would be it. I mean, if anybody is going to crash the Spider Gwen party, it, it's going to be Deadpool. So I kind of felt like he fit, to be honest. It, it works. <laughs> and then down here, we have an Iron Studios uh, 1 4th scale. Captain America from Endgame. This thing is incredible. If you've seen my past videos, you've seen this before, but yeah, it, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal statue. Really love it. So, very happy to have this case now up here. I got another case there with stuff. Love it. I, doing all this actually gave me room, more room for collectibles, which is crazy because I have more room for movies and more room for collectibles. It's freaking, it's weird, to be honest. <laughs> uh, right here, obviously, Christmas tree with uh, Christmas pretty much wound down. That'll be going. And I have a statue on the way that is actually going to take that uh, the whole area. Excited for that. Then we got the next Detoff, which has a, oh, actually, let me open this up again to get away from the, get away from the glare. So this is a Mosasaur statue from Sideshow Collectibles, the premium format. I bought this right after I got out of the theater for uh, Jurassic World because I enjoyed the heck out of Jurassic World and I thought the Mosasaur was pretty badass, to be honest. So this is not Jurassic World licensed. This is not, this is a completely unlicensed piece. It's just of a Mosasaurus, but I really love it. It's been through a rough time, some accidents with it have happened but overall it's awesome i mean it's one of our oldest like premium statues in the collection love that thing going up we have, have a one six scale uh figure for ghost face and for john wick along with some uh blood oath marker coins and all that so love that shelf and then up here we have Audrey Hepburn and Ingrid Bergman we have for uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's and for Casablanca. Great movies. I love having some of the uh, classic actors involved, which actually the statue that's going to go there is going to be another Audrey Hepburn one. It's really cool. Can't wait for that to come in. But that is everything in this one. Gosh, I'm so happy to have more like collectibles in here and still more movie room. It's crazy. Got a Lego BB-8 up here. A copy of The Love Bug with Bruce Campbell on VHS. That movie has no other way. It, it's only VHS. That's it. You're not finding it anywhere else. So I wanted to keep that represented because I love that. Uh, go around. That is me and my wife meeting Bruce Campbell... God, that would be like 10 years ago now. I've met him since a couple of times, but that's the only picture we have with him. And yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Shining 7-inch record. Uh, Ferris Bueller, no reason it's up there besides I love Ferris Bueller and I just put it up there. And some Lost Boys replica comics. So I should go, maybe I'll go over there and then we'll cover what's along the bottom. So this whole area, again, if you see my last videos, you'll know that this was all uh, DVD. So we had all DVD. It was, uh, we had an eight cube Calyx stacked on a eight cube Calyx, kind of like an upside down T type look. And it worked, kinda, it, it, it kind of sucked to be honest, but uh, got rid of that. And got another one of these Atlantic shelves. And now all of the box sets that were along up there are now pretty much all spread around here. Some are displayed out. Some are sideways. I kind of, 
I kind of like it. I think it works. And then we have all these collectibles and stuff. That's just to take up space until we fill it with movies. I mean, that's... I, I love... We have so much expansion room. It All that space to expand. Steelbook room still to expand. And that other spinner still to expand. And then still more to show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love it. So this otherwise, movie-wise, it is just... Scream Factory and Shout, and then the box sets. So that's all of what this is. As we need to expand, we'll see what changes, what whatever. But yeah, I love. We have room. I mean, that's that's the key. I mean, as a collector, that is the key. Uh, arm is stretched up pretty high here, but that's a picture of my old dog. She was amazing. Her name was Oreo. Loved that dog. And then. Some odds and ends stuff along the top. And then we come down and we have fantastic record. It, he redid all of his big hits from his movies, mostly the themes and everything. Really, really good and signed by John Carpenter. In Evil Dead, a uh, little 8x10. An 8x10 of uh, Stephen King. And a signed 8x10 of Hayden Panettiere, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She was super nice in person, though. Uh, some odds and ends down there. Every ver It's super dark down here, but every version of my movie room has had... That's the Twilight Zone uh, Nightmare at 20,000 Feet Gremlin from Sideshow, like super old. That thing is... That's old. <laughs> that's really old school for them. I kind of... I hide him around my movie room in all my different versions of the movie room. He kind of just hides in different spots. I, I don't know. It's it's a thing I do with him. I, I don't know. It's like a, my own little personal tradition. I find somewhere to just stick him that's kind of, you could see, but he's kind of hidden. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, but uh, so I showed that stuff. Little uh, Harley Quinn from Batman and the Animated Series. And then before we go to there, I will get down on the floor, which is going to hurt. I'm telling you, as I'm not even that old, and my bones and joints are ugh, sore. But, yeah, I collect movie-related books. Uh, art books, history of, stu stuff like that. And here is most, I guess. I mean, I have a couple more in the other room I got to bring out. And then that other shelf I showed. But this is a lot of them. I was thinking about doing a video on like going more in depth with them. But I love these things. You, you learn so much from, from books like this that you don't even find in the special features. If there are even special features for the movie. Like you'll find way more information out. And I'm going to bring this one out just because it's really cool. I picked this. So Rogue One is... By far my favorite Star Wars that Disney is... Anything Star Wars that Disney has done. I love this movie. Heck, it's one of my favorite of the entire franchise. But signed by a bunch of people involved, including Gareth Edwards, the director. Very cool. Really love that. Got that on, like, Think Geek several years ago. It was in, like, the sales section, too. <laughs> so... This wall now, pure TV shows. This is, this will be, steel books are included in here. And Blu-ray and DVD are mixed. But that's just because we're just kind of condensed if this is just TV shows and TV show related. We have a lot. We really enjoy TV shows. Uh, got so many great shows. Loved Buffy. Uh, Monk is an amazing show. Tales from the Crypt is amazing. Parks and Rec is hysterical. Uh, Warehouse 13. Not talked about too much. Twilight Zone. Probably like one of the greatest shows of all time. Uh, X-Files. Love that show. Bewitched is great. Simpsons is classic. Psych is great. I mean, some awesome stuff. We just got this in. We imported it. Malcolm in the Middle, seasons 1 through 7. You can't get that in the United States. So very happy with all that. Up top we have Hogwarts Express and just some other 
odds and ends collectibles. The gun is from uh, Firefly. It's different odds and ends stuff. And come around here. A Jurassic Park screen print by uh, Phantom City Creative is who did it. It's really cool because it's like the silhouette of uh, a T-Rex, obviously, but with the foliage and you see, you know, there's a, a raptor. It, it's, I love that print. I have, if you haven't seen, I have another video showing off like all my screen prints. I have a ton of these things. These are, this is not like some poster you would find at like Walmart or Target or something like that. These are, it's on like thick paper stock and it's actually, this is actual paint underneath on the poster itself. It's actually layers of paint. Uh, these things cost like 65, 75, 85. It depends on what, which, uh, what they are, what, what went into them, what artists and stuff like that. But yeah, they're not cheap. I have got a ton of them. A uh, bunch of odds and ends, Disney collectibles here. This used to be Disney, all just Disney related, uh, DVD and Blu-ray. That stuff is shifted out into uh, the middle of the room. And this is going to be like our new pickups shelf until we sort the stuff into the rest of the collection. It goes in here. So this is just some of the brand new stuff. I'm going to be doing a video on that stuff. So let's not, let's not look at that. <laughs> and then end the outer walls with a Night of the Hunter screen print. Uh, a couple of the sisters from Charmed met them both. A little 8 by 8 of Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Amazing movie. And yeah, that finishes up the outside walls. And I, But I still have the middle because I'm pretty happy with, like, I don't see a whole lot of movie rooms that do stuff with, like, the middle of the room. But we kind of made it work. I, I, I like it. So we have these shelves back to back. We added that one there. Uh, long top, just added some Power Rangers, PCS, uh, like, plastic sta statues. You can get these at, like, GameStop, but they look cool. And here is where all of our boutique stuff besides uh, Scream and Shout will be. We wanted to give ourselves expansion room, so I we did okay. I mean, we don't buy these stuff and the same quantity as some of the other stuff just because i mean price obviously i i you know buy a fair amount of it but it, it's you gotta wait for sometimes for the sales with some of them to really get a lot but this will be this is some of the odds and ends like mvd into bestron into vinegar syndrome oscilloscope uh twilight time severin uh eureka uh Blue Underground. I just, this is kind of the odds and ends, but we left ourselves a chunk of a shelf for expansion. Then we have Warner Archive. Room down the bottom for expansion or expansion at the top, whichever one grows faster. We buy Warner Archive a fair amount. We have A24, A24 Neon with expansion, then an empty shelf here, which we can go either direction with, but we have all arrow there. So expansion room there. Kino Lorber, this is probably one of our faster growing of the boutique ones because they release great stuff at great prices, but we've left ourselves a chunk of expansion a bunch of HD DVDs. Kept them in the movie room because HD DVD was actually what I got into first. I was an HD DVD guy. I have nostalgia for it. I still have the player. They still work. But when push comes to shove, they're gone. They'll be out of here and that'll be more expansion room there. And we hit the other side. We got not boutique stuff, but we got the nature docs. Uh, a couple of comedy ones. Then we hit into... These are all like double and triple packs and Mill Creek and stuff like that. Uh, we have our Christmas 
and Christmas, holiday, all that stuff. Here's a couple of uh, specialty releases like Second Sight and Imprint and uh, two Manta Lab steelbooks. Here's our Paramount Presents. Then we got like all of Disney going up. As you can see, a big key of this, like I said, is expansion room. You look throughout this and we have tons of space to work with. The collectibles are there to take up space right now, something to look at, but when push comes to shove, they'll move out when we get the collectible or when we get the movies that need to go in. And also really dusty, but met Val Kilmer years ago at uh, Monster Mania. So I got him to sign my Batmobile. And then, ooh, I almost tripped. <laughs> but this is all Criterion. Little Criterion shelf. Uh, this will, this will probably, well not probably, this will definitely fill up in 22. <laughs> but for now, it works. But yeah, I, I personally couldn't be happier with the changes we made. I mean, we gave ourselves a lot of expansion room for not really that much money overall. I get to look at more collectibles. I get to look at more art on the walls. Like, I didn't even have this much wall space to work with, to be honest. The way we had it before, that entire wall was was taken. So I couldn't have had any of that stuff up. Uh, we had our desk. So I had, like, that wall somewhat. I didn't have very much room i did have a, a one print there but i don't know i i got more wall space more collectible room and more room for movies which is the key i mean i'm uh i'm thrilled with with the changes i really am uh comment down below your thoughts i mean i i'm happy with it so this is my this is, will be my 2022 room tour we'll see what it looks like in 2023 but I'm very happy with this one. So, yeah. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I will have plenty of new content coming. Work is slowing down. So, yeah. I will see you in the next one.